Hey YouTube, it's Texas Pro Gone Bad, and no, I am not dead. Uh, I am actually very much alive, and I'm um, doing better than ever. I mean, I have a lot of videos that I'm going to start uploading, and well, we'll get to that. So, the main thing is that I am still here. Uh, I know I haven't been active for a while, but with all that comes a reason. The first thing that happened is that my computer got a virus. Um, it was a pretty b bad virus, a couple worms actually, and a couple Trojans thrown in there. Uh, but I successfully removed it, but what happened was that when I removed all those viruses, I accidentally removed some of the key features of, uh, or the key things of my operating system. And so when I deleted a couple of the system files, my operating system went crazy. And my computer has been really slow ever since, and it gives me a lot of errors, and uh, Firefox crashes all the time. And the main thing is that Windows Movie Maker, the program I use to edit my videos, does not work anymore, along with um, all the other programs. Um, I don't know what I deleted. Maybe it has something to do with um, the video aspect of my computer or the graphics aspect of my computer. But when I got rid of the virus, my all my editing programs stopped working. I can't save my videos. And that's why I haven't been posting videos in a while. And then what happened was that I got Windows 7. And Windows 7 is right here. I'm going to be installing this today. But this, I thought, was going to be the solution to all of my problems. I buy this, I install it, and I start uploading videos again, and my computer will work just fine. Well, see, something else happened on top of my computer going crazy. My YouTube channel actually got hacked. Um, I'm guessing it was because of the virus. Uh, I guess I signed into my YouTube channel while I had the virus, and the information got sent back to the person who put the virus on my computer, and they had access to my YouTube. My YouTube channel got hacked into, my videos got deleted, my content, everything was gone. I contacted YouTube about the issue, and I got my YouTube channel back maybe a week or two ago. And ever since then, I have been waiting for this my flip cam, my flip mino HD that I ordered to come in the mail so I could finally make this video and install Windows 7 um, on this video and just pretty much tell you guys that I'm back and I'm better than ever and I'm going to be posting videos again. While that time that I had my YouTube channel um, hacked and my uh, computer was all messed up, I didn't stop making videos. I mean, I kept getting stuff from companies so I couldn't just not make the video because I had already contacted them. So I made the videos, they're all, all on my computer, I literally have 10, maybe 15 videos that I need to edit and upload, so those will be uploaded after this video at a steady pace. Also, um, I'm planning on doing a huge giveaway video of the items that those companies sent me, so I will upload that video shortly after this video too. But until then, I am back and right now I'm going to go install Windows 7 so I can get started on all of those videos. Let's do it! Alright, so the first thing I need to do is obviously open Windows 7. So let's go ahead and unbox this for you guys. Just to slide straight out, I already took the plastic packaging off uh, just to make things a little easier. And then this opens up. And it says upgrading from Windows XP. A little short guide and then the full um, manual thing. And then there it is. That is the CD for Windows 7. And that's pretty much it. You get a manual, Windows 7, and a product key that I already took out. So, that's it. Now let's go ahead and install this. And now for the moment of truth, the moment we've all been waiting for, the actual installation of Windows 7. I know I'm excited, and I hope you guys are too. Here are the two CDs that come with it. It comes with both a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. I'm going to be installing the 32-bit version today. So, let's do this. I'm excited. Alright, so a Windows 7 thing pops up. Check compatibility online or install now. Let's check the compatibility first, then let's install it. So let's do it. And clicking that brought me to a page to download Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. And I'm going to go ahead and download this. It's going to scan all my hardware, devices, and install programs for known compatibility issues. And it's going to give me guidance on how to resolve potential issues found and recommends what to do before you upgrade. So, sounds good. Let's download it. Better safe than sorry. Installing. Start check. Okay, and it finished scanning, and it says that the number of issues that were found that I might need to address are 8. But I looked it over, it's nothing major, and I'm just going to go ahead and install it anyways. So let's press close. 
and let's head back to this window and press install now. Setup is copying temporary files. Setup is starting. And this window pops up saying get important updates for installation. Go online to get the latest updates for installation recommended or do not get these latest updates for installation. Obviously, let's go with the recommended version. And searching for installation updates, downloading installation updates. And then the install Windows 7 thing comes up where you accept the license terms. No one reads those. Press next. Upgrade or custom advanced. The custom advanced is if you're upgrading from Windows XP. The upgrade is if you're upgrading from um, Windows Vista. So obviously custom advanced since I have XP. And then uh, now we have the hard drives right here. Disk 0 portion 1. Press next. And then the portion you selected might contain files from a previous win Windows installation. If it does, these files and folders will be moved to a folder named Windows Old. You will be able to access the information in Windows Old, but you will not be able to use your previous version of Windows. So, okay, it's basically going to replace all of my Windows files. And now it's copying and backing up those Windows files, even though I don't really need those. Okay, so now it has copied the Windows files, and now it says expanding Windows files, and it is at 3%. So now let's wait a little more. Alright, and it says starting Windows, and you can see me in the reflection. And the Windows logo looks pretty cool. And we are starting up again. Set it, set up is starting, installing Windows. And installing features and installing updates just whizzed by really fast and now it's the last one which is completing installation. And it says Windows needs to restart to continue so here we go with another um, restart. And there's me again. And the flip cam. Alright, it looks like the installation is done and it says starting Windows. Very interesting looking loading bar down there. And there you go, Windows 7 Home Premium. And now this is the part where I have to fill out all of my information. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quick and I'll see you guys in a second. And Windows 7 Home Premium, Windows is finalizing your settings and welcome. At the bottom, Windows 7 Home Premium again. So wait for it to load and we can lock in for the first time preparing your desktop and there we go there is our first look at Windows 7 and here we finally are installing updates right away and this is Windows 7 my recycling bin is the only thing on my desktop I have Internet Explorer um, a folders thing and a play button over here. I have no idea what these are for yet, uh, but I'll look more into it. This is Windows Explorer and this is Windows Media, Media Player. And then I am already connected to my wireless network, fully charged, and all of my things are over here along with the time and date. And then we have this button right here and it has all of this stuff. So that is a quick look at Windows 7. Uh, I'll probably get more in depth with this um, as I go along, as I learn more. Um, but yeah, this is just a quick look at Windows 7. I might start making videos on this, but I don't know yet. We'll see how things go. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up this video. Just a quick recap, I am back. That was the main reason why I made this video. I am back, and now you guys know where I've been and why I've been gone for so long. Uh, second thing is that Windows 7 is now uploaded on my computer or installed onto my computer and uh, things should be working fine, things should be working better now and I will um, 
edit those videos that I have recorded in, and I will upload those at a steady pace after this video. Also, after this video, shortly after this video, I will upload my um, giveaway, or I gotta make that first, and then I will upload my giveaway video for my 10,000 subscribers giveaway. Stay tuned for that. Um, many prizes, including an iPod shuffle and iPod touch cases and all this different type of stuff um, in that giveaway. And also, speaking of my 10,000 giveaway video, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to every one of my 10,000 plus subscribers. You have no idea how happy I was when I found out that I had 10,000 subscribers. That's a big mark for me. But I'll go more in depth um, on that and I'll thank you guys more in the actual uh, giveaway video. So that's it for this video and until next time, I will see you guys later.